What's going on, Guilty Guys and Gals? Welcome back to V3. Uh, we are in the middle of Chapter 2 Trial. And Monokuma and the Cubs Theater want to tell us something. That empty stump makes me so happy. Anyway. <laughs> it seems the voting is finished. Now then, let's see the result. Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? Well, wait a second. Why with all? Voting time hasn't happened yet. Yeah, er, yes it has. Don't you remember, Monosuke? No, it hasn't. You're the one who doesn't remember, Monotaro. Uh -oh. oh man, you're right. Silly me. <laughs> I'm so forgetful. Yeah. Wow, I didn't expect to get you all so worked up over such a small lie. You kids are pretty gullible, huh? Well, anyway, let's just skip this trial and jump ahead to Chapter 3! But wait a second, we don't know who the culprit is yet. Aww. Yeah, who killed Rantaro? <laughs> that was Chapter 1's case, how can you be this forgetful? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yellow. Resume, resume. Re resume. Let us resume. Hello! <laughs> square one? Oh. If square one, they wouldn't have gotten eaten by the competition. What? <laughs> After that terrible movie, they had no other Oh, you wrote actual square. <laughs> what does that mean? It means he doesn't want to get involved in another pointless argument. Like this one. <laughs> Alright, thanks for your input on square. Square Enix. <laughs> you shouldn't listen to anything Maki says. She's just gonna throw out more lies. Wow, never thought that would ever happen. Never never heard a person do that in this game yet. But if we don't ask her for more details, how will we know for sure? Yeah. I told you already we don't need to. We hate liars. Liar, oh, liar, ironic. pants on fire. <laughs> You're one to talk. Yeah, mm, mm. Just ignore that lying little degenerate. We'll listen to what you have to say. It must have been... A little after midnight last night, he visited me at my research lab. Okay. And you let him in? He wanted me to show him the motive video that I received. Motive video? Huh? If Ryoma came to ask about that, does that mean you had his motive video? We already... As I recall, Ryoma had Maki's motive video, correct? Hmm. Does this mean you and Ryoma received one another's motive video? I actually didn't check the one I got, so I wouldn't know. No. <laughs> Maki admitted earlier that she hadn't checked her cub's pet. Then why did Ryoma think that Maki had his motive video? Mm hmm. If he went around asking at random, he might have asked some people besides Maki. He never asked me. He probably never asked you guys either, right? Then, who was it that told Ryoma about his cub's pet? It would have to be the kids or Kokichi. I wonder if there'd be someone who knew each... I mean, he did want to stir up trouble. Oh, he was right, he was right there. It's you. Decide! That would be Kokichi. <laughs> Cubs pads! Gotta catch them all! I even got the pads belonging to the people who aren't here! Nihihihi! <laughs> Now everyone can watch their motive video. He could just say no. When males get this quiet, they're either caught in a lie or thinking dirty thoughts. <laughs> what happened then, Maki? After Ryoma asked you for his motive video. I told Ryoma just to take it from my room. I keep my room unlocked. Oh. Wow, Maki, that's super careless. Aren't you scared <laughs> someone might kill you in your sleep? And then what happened? What? <laughs> I don't know what happened after that. I'm not even sure if he saw his motive video. When he asked me, he said that he would show me my motive video in return. Mm. But I wasn't interested, so I declined. And that's pretty much it. So you don't even know what we're <sighs> It sounds... Perhaps. Plausible, but... That proves he was still alive then. Which means, even though we don't have alibis from 8 to 10, Maki and me aren't suspects. <laughs> if that story is true. 
It's true. <laughs> then why did you wait until now to bring that up? I didn't say anything until now because I wasn't in the mood to be suspected. Mm -hmm. Suspected? What for? Kirumi said it earlier. It seems that Ryoma and I had each other's motive videos. Mm -hmm. That's pretty fishy, right? So I didn't want to mention it to avoid suspicion. You didn't say anything because you weren't in the mood? <laughs> it is quite selfish to keep this information hidden because you were not in the mood. Well, whatever. Either way, let's just believe Mark. Yes, yes! Those who believe <laughs> are saved! <sighs> no, we oh need dear. to wait. There is still more to confirm. Well then, why don't we ask Kokichi? Yeah. Huh? How about we grill you for once, you lol? You never answered my question. Were you the one who told Ryoma that Maki had his motive video? Is that really important? Yes, it is yeah. important. Because if Kokichi told Ryoma, it becomes more likely that Ryoma visited Maki during nighttime. Mm. I see. Kokichi's response may help corroborate Maki's testimony. Now you understand why I don't want your truth. <laughs> I want the truth. <laughs> well, Kokichi, did you tell Ryoma? Just punch him. It'll be easier that way. You said it earlier. I don't want to die, right? If you really don't want to die, then you better tell us the truth. Here comes the dramatic turnabout. Now I'm the one pressured by Maki. Turnabout? Okay, it's true. Turnabout tennis star? Vaja! <laughs> of course he did. That's not a bad thing, right? Uh -huh. I to know, so I told <laughs> Have you seen everyone's motive video? No, not yet. I was gonna wait until we hosted like a movie screening party. <laughs> I just checked who had who's so I could give them back to everyone after. Why? Anyway, if Kokichi told Ryoma that, then he must have gone to see Maki. That means Maki's telling the truth. Ryoma oh. Why would he do that? Because he was looking for a reason to live. We cannot be too sure about that yet. He wanted to see what was in his motive video to find out what Even reason he would possibly have to kill. It does not mean it was during nighttime. I am saying it could still be a possibility. If there is still Krimi's <laughs> playing hardball. Being the culprit, then I cannot trust you entirely. Because everyone's lives are at stake. I mean, yes. Which is it? A lie or not lie? It's the truth, Gunther. It's, it's called lie. truth. Can't you tell just by looking at her? Kaido, please. <laughs> if it was that easy, we'd be done by now. No. This is a world of lies and betrayal. That's coming from the ultimate deceiver, basically. <laughs> it breaks my heart to hear you say <laughs> Oh dear. I find Maki's testimony suspicious. It's far too convenient for her. Mm-hmm. This is difficult to determine. Maki is lying. Like I said before, <laughs> liar like me knows their own kind. <laughs> I'm not lying. I did meet up with Ryoma during nighttime. I'm telling the truth. Is it a lie? Or the truth? This is the turning point. This will change the fate of this case. And I... I said I would believe in Kaido, and that means believing in Maki. And that means I have to do it. I need us all on the same page. I have to change where this argument is going, just like Kaede did. Uh, it's lie time! Do I remember how to do it? Ah, oh, Um... Oh, so I want Maki alone. And then, can I look at the... Maki was standing guard in front of her lab last night. She stayed in her dorm room only during nighttime. Um, I forget how to do it. Where's the, where's the instructions? There it is. Uh, hold equals lie. Oh, that's the wrong button. Who? Who together? No one can prove that this meeting oh. took place. Then there is no reason to believe your testimony, I'm afraid. As expected, Maki is lying to us. <laughs> liar, liar, liar. Prove your claim. <laughs> Same as an outright lie. <laughs> Who did you say met them up? I met with 
Friona the previous night. Oh. What a load of crap! Maki only see Ryoma at night? Yes, I didn't meet with anyone else. Did anyone see those two together? That's not the one I want? Okay, fair enough. Oof. Oh. Okay. So. Oh, it's alibis for yesterday, right? Probably. That's why I'm not thinking of the right thing. Wrong button. I always do this. Okay, there we go. Um, should you keep rotating and we're forced together? The other one is like me going to join. Because he was in the green was in the gym and blah blah blah. He was seen multiple times last night, wandering in the courtyard and wandering. Um, no, that's not it either. Um, what else do I have? Insect meet and greet, Gonta's account, and Monokuma file. Oh god, stop shooting bullets. <laughs> During the magic show, when timer hit 20 seconds, Gonta wasn't okay. That, that's not it, that's for sure. So, I think it has to be the, the this one. Prove that this meeting took place. As expected, Maki is lying to us. If you can't prove your... I met with Ryoma the previous Ah. Uh, what a load of crap! Is it something in here? Body was discovered in the gym because of the difference drowning. The victim's body was consumed by promise. It's definitely not that one. Um. Was standing guard in front of her lab last night. She stayed in her dorm room only during nighttime. Lucky only see Ryoma at night? Yes, I didn't meet with anyone else. Did anyone I still think it has to be this one. Surely they would have come forward already. If no one can prove that this meeting took place, then there is no uh, reason to believe your testimony, I'm afraid. Did Maki If you can't prove your claim, then it's the same as an outright lie. Ah, uh, what is he saying? I can't say. That the two of them met now, that's too obvious a lie. I can convince them that Maki met up with someone. I met with Ryoma the previous night. I... I don't... I don't... It, it just turns into the opposite of what it is, right? Into the door and just... Saw the figure of a girl... Oh! What a load of crap! That's... I don't have that bullet. Never mind, I was wrong. <laughs> Then before she reaching some others before she stayed gone to was struck by Kikichi and Miko and Andrew brought in five minutes. Let's participate. I don't I don't think it can be that one. What what's Gonta's account, sorry? Right, that's on top of the thing. Oh boy. Um None of these include people. Except for, um... Mm. I'm gonna try alibis for a second. Oh, there's like three pages to that. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> what? Why does it... Oh, when people had alibis. Wrong, 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 wrong. Surely they would have come forward already. Someone can prove that this meeting took place. And there is no reason to believe your testimony, I'm afraid. I expected Maki's lying to us. If you can't prove your claim, then it's the same as an outright lie. I met with Ryoma the previous night. I am convinced. <laughs> Stop pressing the wrong buttons, me. No, it's definitely not that. Um. Uh. I met with Ryoma the previous night. What a load of crap! 
It can't be these two, and I've tried. Oh god, these buttons are killing me. It. Did I just miss the first time with Maki alone? Or am I shooting at the wrong thing? No one can prove that this meeting took place. I guess I want to contradict that. I mean, I mean, yes, I can maybe do that. Can I say the two of them met now? It's too obvious a lie. Even some that Maki met up with someone. It's just. It's the... There's always one. There's always one in every trial that gets me. <laughs> um. Opposite. Mm. I guess I could try to. Uh, I still feel like this is the bullet I need. Wrong button again. I'm gonna give it a go. See? I was just shooting at the wrong thing. Perjury! Yay! <laughs> I might not be able to prove they met, but I can prove Maki wasn't alone. Oh, yeah. Oh, please explain. <laughs> well, Kaito and I trained together every night. <laughs> and yesterday, because of the insect meet and greet, we started late. Huh? Ah, Kaito, don't worry. You don't have to say anything. <laughs> anyway, we were doing some frog squats on the school stairs <laughs> when we heard two people talking. People talking? We knew one of them was Maki. But we couldn't pick out the other one. Especially not with a deep voice like this. <laughs> I think about it, it must have been Ryoma. What? Uh, yeah, maybe. That was probably around midnight. <laughs> Wait a minute. If you heard their voices, then that means... So Ryoma and Maki did meet up. <laughs> no, no, hold up. Why'd you sit on that info for so long? Because until just now, I didn't think it was relevant. Mm -hmm. I had no reason to bring it up. Now, now, we don't know if Maki was really talking to Ryoma, right? But who else could it have been? If I knew for certain, I would have said so sooner. <laughs> but considering the circumstances, I can't imagine it being anyone but Ryoma. None of us were talking to Maki last night, correct? So it must have been him. Nobody say you suddenly remember talking to Maki. It's way too late for that. <laughs> did not confirm who Maki was talking to at the time. Why would we? If I overheard a conversation in the middle of the night, I surely would have checked. Why? We are still part of a killing game after all. I mean, whoa, 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 <laughs> chill out. Why the scary face? <laughs> that was my bad, but it's not really manly to eavesdrop, you know? I wouldn't do something so uncool. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I know that we heard those voices. Maki is not lying. Then Gonto will believe friends. Good job. <laughs> you believe him? Just like that? This kind of Gonto's whole shtick, yeah. But Shuichi has no reason to lie. <laughs> yes. If, if he's not he leads us to the wrong culprit, he will join us in eternal sleep. Uh -huh. Unless he wishes for death, he should be able to believe him. <laughs> That's right. You can believe me. Totally, totally cool. You're right. I'll believe him too. Thanks, good guy squad. Okay. I'd be so surprised if Shuichi was a liar. Especially after we believed him for so long. Uh, mm -hmm. We wouldn't be able to trust anyone anymore. Well, 
it's not like he's lying anyway. <laughs> All right, that proves it then. Ryoma was still Oh like goodness. That man's got superhuman lie detecting powers. Maki aren't suspects anymore. Yeah. I guess that means everyone's alibis no longer matter. Yes. So everyone is culprit again? Yes, we all kill them. <laughs> We're right back where we started. What a pain. However, it should wow. be clear now that the crime occurred after nighttime began. Hmm. But then when was Ryoma's body placed inside the piranha tank? During nighttime. <laughs> well, the gym is locked at nighttime, so it must have been the next morning. But no. That's not possible. Himiko and I were at the gym, remember? Mm -hmm. So did we fuck up by thinking the body got stuffed into the piranha tank? No. I don't think so. We have evidence to prove that's what happened. And when did the culprit throw the body into the piranha tank? <laughs> From space. <laughs> Wink. When did Ryoma's body get placed in the piranha tank? Maki was with Ryoma around midnight, so it couldn't have been before nighttime. And if it couldn't have been the morning after, that leaves. The only time they could have done it was during nighttime, huh? Did you forget the gym's not open at nighttime, Dick Cheese? <laughs> dick Cheese? <laughs> but that's the only possibility, because by morning we were already at the gym. Um, it may be possible they slipped by without you noticing. No, probably not. No one can slip <laughs> from me. I'm known far and wide as the snoozing sorceress. That's probably true, but doesn't pertain anything to what we were just talking about. Title for a <laughs> Are you positive that you did not see it? You cannot enter the gym at night time. That does sound like the title of a guard in like the very first area. The snoozing sorceress. She might strike out, but she always keeps her eye on the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, it means you're probably not the culprit in this case. Right? The body was probably moved in the morning. No. Go to sure if we discuss disagreement. Wow, that would be so helpful. Oh, what? What? Disagreement? What? A disagreement. Oh. You mean you're split down the middle again? I see. The ultimate academy is proud to present its very own more phenomenal trial. We already saw it. We've been waiting for this. Jeez, we gotta do that whole crazy thing again. <laughs> Seems like our opinions are split on this matter. But if we focus on the evidence, the facts will become clear. All I have to do is show them and make them accept it. If we can't get them to see the truth now, my lie would have been for nothing. I won't fail. Cool. Now it's time for the jams. Would it really like harm your guys if I, I didn't watch this whole thing because it's it suffers? Even though I think this still goes with the music, even though it's like behind. <laughs> I'll just try to do it in beat. That'll keep it cool. <laughs> when was the body put in the tank? The next morning, during nighttime. All right. Did the culprit move the body just before the morning announcement? Is it okay. possible you simply missed the culprit? Missed? Remember, oh, I keep the forgetting the button. You can't enter the gym at night. Kaito, rules probably don't apply to corpses, you know. <laughs> You already know that actually. The tank is too far from the gym's entrance. I got this. You might be able to reach the tank from the window above the stage. But pool next to gym also off limits at night. Lucky. Entering the pool at night's what's off limits, not the pool area itself. <laughs> but should we trust Maki's testimony in the first place? Tanko. Tanko. Because okay, we have Shuichi's testimony too. Did the culprit move the body just before? Okay. Wait, Gonta's on the other side this time? Wow. Just before the morning announcement? Angie. I was in front of the gym with the others before the announcement. Mm-hmm. Is it not possible you simply missed the code? <laughs> We're right in front of the door. There's no way we could have missed them. Nice. <laughs> the rules state that you can't and cut Rules probably don't apply to corpses, you know. 
This is a cool team. I like my team this time. You might be able to reach the tank from the window above the stage. I like how the main character always has to <laughs> go against Kokichi. Entering the pool at night's what's off limits, not the pool area itself. It's okay, because we have Shuichi's testimony too. I got a great team this time. Oh right. Or B. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Full counter. Nice. It's true that you cannot enter the gym at night time. But a corpse could. Corpse could. Yeah. I am positive that the window was how the culprit moved the body. Mm hmm That window is higher than the piranha tank, and it's pretty close by. The curtains might have been closed. But the window was open, the whole investigation. Who put the piranha? Oh no, because it was lifted using the stage set. Uh, I don't know. That means it was certainly possible to put the body in the piranha tank from the window. Mm -hmm. However, I'm also positive the pain dividing the piranha tank was set up beforehand. Yeah. That certainly couldn't be talked <laughs> <laughs> would need to be placed carefully. Just throw some glass in there. It's fine. The culprit were to throw the body from outside the window. <sighs> the window is far too high. It cannot be reached from the floor. Hmm. Yomo is small. Gonta could have chucked him easy. <laughs> yes, but Gonta wouldn't do that. A gentleman not chuck dead bodies. But you chuck a living Ryoma into a piranha tank. <laughs> That's still pretty rough. You tested it out while you were investigating, Shuichi. That ladder reached the window, right? Mm -hmm. so the culprit just needed to put the body through the window to pull it off, right? No, I don't think that method is possible because the ladder couldn't have been used like that in this crime. I can prove it. Um, there was no time to move it. The ladder couldn't be moved. I t I'm gonna die on this. I just know it. Um, I wasn't paying enough attention. The ladder, I guess there was no time to move it. Oh well, and now I'm dead. I was wrong. <laughs> oh no! Yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> so many whooshs. Um. But, but we, we moved the ladder. The, 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 I'm thinking about this all wrong, aren't I? What? <laughs> Maybe I just don't remember. <laughs> the only reason the ladder reached the window was because it was on the Oh, they were talking about using the ladder from the other side. Use the ladder on the pool oh, side, it would not quite it. <laughs> Yeah, that was way too easy, but I just I wasn't thinking about it cuz I wasn't listening to what Angie was saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Listening hard enough anyway. Nothing on the pool side of the gym as tall as the stage. Except the diving board, but you ain't moving that. The ladder was found in the gym, correct? Mm-hmm. If the culprit used the ladder on the pool side, we wouldn't have found it in the gym. Then you couldn't have thrown the ladder back through the window because it's too heavy. Plus it would shatter one of the tanks, if for sure. He used his hard strength to throw the ladder or the body or something. No. Gentlemen <laughs> not throw dead bodies or ladders. The body you heard it here first, folks. Into the piranha tank to begin with. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty intense. Need to be placed carefully to prevent the glass pane from shifting. So what happened? Even if we injected tons of steroids into you, it'd be impossible. Great. Sorry, you're right. <laughs> what? Why are you apologizing? <laughs> they were accusing you, you dingus. It's very important. You guys don't even know that. 
What a bunch of dimwits. Hey. Do you have the answer? <laughs> but of course. But of course. Challenge you, Ichi. Blow them all away with the truth. <laughs> uh, I, uh, actually don't know that yet. What? <laughs> the culprit definitely moved the body through the window, but I don't know how. You might not know how, but I do. Seriously? Serves you right. You made a fool out of yourself after acting all my and fighting. <laughs> just need to shut up and take their licks. What? <laughs> what are we going to do, Shuichi? We got to figure this out or we're done for. <laughs> hey, you got to do something, Shuichi. Shuichi! <laughs> have to do something, but... I don't know what to do. I haven't figured it out yet. Just lie again. Damn it. Am I really not good enough? Am I... Am I no good as a detective? I, I can't do this. I can't... I don't think it really matters how the body got into the piranha tank. What? <laughs> Gonta thinks it matter. We won't know culprit's trick unless we figure out. We're getting sidetracked. It doesn't matter how it was done, just who did it. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't focus on where we found the body. Instead, we need to focus on where he was killed. Fair to fair enough. And I know where. Be more efficient if we focused on the murder scene instead. Yeah, we literally haven't even tried. That's it. We were so caught up in where the body was found. When we should have been thinking about where the murder occurred. The murder scene would definitely have more clues about the culprit. You think? <laughs> I anyone realize this yet. Uh, it's, strange. it's almost like I was leading the conversation away from Perhaps the culprit steered the conversation away from that topic. <laughs> then culprit is someone in this room. Whoa! <laughs> oh no. That's important to remember. It's not as if everyone here wants us to find the truth. One of us is trying to sabotage this trial. Probably two, if I had to be honest. Well then, let's discuss the crime scene to figure out who the culprit is. It's Kokichi and the culprit. <laughs> what? You mean from Fire Emblem? <laughs> the, the other mage? The what? Okay. If we can determine where all this all started, we can determine how it ended. Yes, it's too soon to quit. The trial's only just begun. Oh god. <laughs> that was a helpful insight. A I can't believe you didn't notice that. I guess that's why you're still an apprentice. <laughs> uh, now that sounds more like Maki. Alright, let's get into this. Black piece of fabric. Let's establish the crime scene. <laughs> the dorm room? What? Why would you think that? nothing in his room that could collect enough water. He's got a toilet, doesn't he? Oh. Drowning toilets? Unpossible. Unpossible. consider places where water is stored. The only place that fits is the pool. Even if you use magic, there's no other way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, it must be the pool then. Now that little turn drowned in the toilet. I could, no, stop. <laughs> Shut your mouth, you lazy sow. It's difficult to watch. <laughs> Those deaths certainly drown with drowning water. The pool seems like the obvious answer, but I have my doubts. Um. Where was the fabric from? Is the fabric actually fr I thought it was from the pool. Yeah, it was. But I want to say it was his sink, right? What else do I have? Pool rules? But the cause of death... Entering the pools proved it during nighttime. He's drowning. There is nothing in his room that could collect enough water. He's got a toilet, doesn't he? Ugh, <laughs> stop. <laughs> the toilet? The toilet. <laughs> we consider places where water is stored. The only place that fits is the pool. That's wrong! Ding! V counter. I actually missed my V counter when I thought I got it the last time, so... We haven't done any mini games yet, basically. Yeah. No swimming is allowed at night time, so a living person could not have gone in. Yep. Yeah, a dead body is fine because it's just an object. 
but if a living person entered the pool, I think I might cry. <laughs> cry as loud as you want. I'll cry with you. We can spend the night together crying. Uh, hmm? In the morning after, I'll write a cry <laughs> on your mirror and before I quietly leave. Okay. Only after you leave do I realize how much you really mean to I what I didn't sign up for a soap opera between bears. What? <laughs> this is why I died. It's impossible for him to have drowned in the pool. <sighs> where was Rio McKilled if not pool? Is there other place where water can be seen? No, started? nowhere. I know there's some kind of clue. Ah, uh, where is it? I'm going the wrong way for sure. What staircase? Hedge, tank cups, cram, piranhas, marked window frame, contest account. Do I not have the sink as a, a thing? No, I do. I have the sink. This is it. He got. He got synced. He he sunk in the sink. There. Scratch marks on it. Yeah. Scratch marks on the sink. Then I believe those scratches were caused by. Select on another thing. It's the the handcuffs. Where did the handcuffs go? I, I don't see them. Where did they go? Yeah, there. This is it. This is it. I got it. Handcuffs. They were scratched as well, correct? Good. Well, yeah. Sort of looked like they'd been scraped against something. Mm hmm. There's also the fact that the handcuffs were from Ryoma's lap. <laughs> Just kind of weird, but came from the handcuffs in the same room. The size and shape of the scratches are consistent with the handcuffs, I'm sure. Yeah. Hmm. How did those handcuffs get from the lab to the water tank? How did they? Ryoma was wearing them, right? Yes, though they were only visible for a brief moment when Ryoma appeared in the tank. <laughs> they were definitely found in there. Mm -hmm. I'm certain he was wearing the handcuffs at the time. The handcuffs were left after the piranhas devoured Ryoma. Yep. Mm -hmm. we, we know that. So the culprit handcuffed Ryoma and drowned him in his lab's sink. Yes. Ryoma must have been pretty yummy. Uh, they chomped up his entire body. Arms, legs, brain. Good question. How did they get in the in the in the skull? Disgusting things. I don't want to hear it. Yep. That crunching texture with the fatty parts just right. Then when they bite down, it gushes. Oh. <laughs> stop! Please stop! <laughs> but how did Culprit handcuff Ryoma? How? He could have used Shikuchi method to get away. Unless someone ambushed him? It's possible they knocked him out before handcuffing him. I guess. Though there's no way we can be sure. Oh! Now that he's not. <gasps> Guys, it's gonna happen! I'm pretty sure the culprit got Ryoma by... Uh, whoops. Don't pay attention to little me. I'm just talking to myself. Oh, I thought the skull crack was going to... What? Pretend you're eating and chew with your mouth closed. Uh oh Otherwise, you'll get a mouthful of peanut butter squid. It's so disgusting you'll laugh. What is happening? So we all agree Ryoma was drowned in the sink in his lap, right? I feel like I just had a, a drug trip with Samugi. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the person I want to have a drug trip with, that's for sure. Yep. Alright, I'm calling it. The crime scene is Ryoma's fucking research lab. Who would have thought? How did the culprit carry his body to the gym from there? With the Phoenix Wright trials and tribulations. It's <laughs> actually Although it probably hasn't wasn't actually like that. Although perhaps it's more accurate to say there's a shortcut. Yeah. Is there a shortcut? Yeah. What's the shortcut between Roman's lab and Jim is the culprit use? This is a window. That's it. It's the window. <laughs> the cursor was already on it. It's the window. The shortcut is the window in Ryoma's lab. It was the sa the showers. The showers were the shortcut. You just flush yourself down the drain. That's right. Mew was right all along. It was the toilet. Except the one in Ryoma's lab. Convenient. On top of that, the window faced the pool. You could see the gym straight across. Straight across. 
culprit dropped Rioma's body into the pool area from the lab window? Mm -hmm. Probably not thrown though. Mission complete. Explanation contradicts some things we discussed earlier. Yeah. The gym window was too high to reach from the pool side, even if one used the ladder. That's right. I apologize. I must go on a journey to reflect on this. <laughs> Spirit journey. Whoops. Since we don't know how the body was thrown into the gym. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well. That didn't really give us any info about the crime. But it did, though. Look at that face. It did. Not necessarily. We learned a lot of important information. Now that I'm sure the scene of the crime is Rioma's lab, this case is becoming clearer. To determine how the body got from the crime scene to where it was found, I have to figure out how to get to the third floor window to the gym. Alright then. I have to analyze the possible methods and find the most likely. Oh, what? Uh-oh. Oh, no! It's Crazy Taxi. What is this? Alright, let's find out. We have to deduce how things are connected. Psyche Taxi will start up. The objective of this mode is to gather the letter cubes lying around to form the question. Oh. Use the A button to accelerate and the left stick to move left and right. By picking up letter cubes floating around, you can complete the question. Once you completed the question, you head toward the escort. That has the right answer. If it's the right answer, they'll get in your car. If it's the wrong answer, something bad happens. They kill you. Also, there are other cars on the road. If you hit those, you'll take focus energy damage. If it's getting dangerous, use RB to concentrate, stay calm, and avoid them. Please drive safely. Enjoy the ride. Please respond at your earliest convenience. What? Oh, God. It really is crazy taxi, though. Do I just have to pick up all the letters? Because that doesn't seem too hard, to be honest. <laughs> if you don't have to pick them up in a particular order, like Hangman's Gambit. I mean, there's no cars on the road right now, though, so maybe it... Which is brake? Oh, well, I just let off the gas, so that's not really braking. I don't know. It doesn't look like I'm going to need it. The body was thrown, or was brought from where? Who am I gonna escort? Thinking time. Thinking time, okay. Lab window, right? I don't know how to pick people up, so... I just gotta run into him. Oh, yeah, literally, you just gotta run into him. I didn't actually expect that to be the case. Is that it? Okay, next question. Still haven't found which button's the break button. I guess it's just focus. You try not to get too, uh... Too fast, or else you, you die. <laughs> Ooh, that's a wonderful noise. Oh god, it's getting so blurry. I, I hate it. I can't go too fast. Is that Angie? Why is she on a billboard? Uh, oh, okay. Hold on. <laughs> Ooh. The body was brought to the gym from where... Um, that is Yoma's lab, I think, is probably going to be what we want. We Got to the gym from where? Sure. We got this. This literally, this literally is crazy tech. Or, yeah, crazy taxi. Gym door, gym window. Hmm, <laughs> I wonder. Can't go through the door. So smack you! Bleh. <laughs> Let's just go 200 miles per hour, why not? I just want to get out of this purple zone. Purple plant. Red plant. Oh, now we're in Tron land. Oh god, my eyes. Oh no, this is not okay. Tron land is gonna murder me. 
and none. Is that a boost pad? Oh no, that's another car for once. I forgot that was a feature. I'm like, let's run into it, it's a boost pad. Yeah, totally, just do it. Oh, driving fast isn't even that bad. I was going slow. Ooh, don't hit the side. Gotta go fast! <laughs> what? Oh, what? There are Monokumas in here? Well, I'm glad I got to run over Monokuma. How was it moved from the classroom window to the gym window? Easy peasy. Easy peasy. It's the wire. It's the wire. We all already knew that. From window to window. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> it connects! Connect for! Complete. Well, I was saying we didn't have any mini games for a while. Yep. Not through. I mean, we're talking about a body. It's not like tossing a baseball, you know. There's a lot of baseball, uh, baseball things going on here. Just reminded me of a certain a certain guy, that's all. With a grappling hook. There's no other way to move it. The culprit must have used some kind of equipment. Hmm. Equipment? With this equipment, they can connect the two windows and move the body to the gym. Yep. Equipment to connect the windows. I believe it was found near the body. How the rope? Oh god, I keep pressing the wrong button. Then what's the, the tennis string for? The rope found behind the gym stage could have been used to connect the windows. Although that does sort of explain why there was a rope connect to an inner tube in the thing. Okay. What mysterious mystery? Yeah. During last night's preparations for the show, that rope was in the wing of the stage. But the next morning, the rope has been moved backstage for some reason. What? It's a mysterious mystery. Only Atua knows the answer. <laughs> the Tua is the culprit. <laughs> someone used the rope, then threw it into the gym window? Hmm. So they did use the rope. That's how they bridged the distance between both windows. <laughs> is the rope long enough to reach both windows? <laughs> I'm a big fan of rope. <laughs> According to the sign of the pool, the width of the pool is roughly 35 feet. Hui. And the distance from the edges of the pool to the windows is an additional 16 feet. Altogether, the sum total length from one window to the other is roughly 50 feet. Mm. And pool is only thing between research lab and gym oh. windows. I thought that was Kaido for a second. I'm like, why are you talking like Gonta? Oh, hold on. <laughs> it's Gonta. You bet it's long enough. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Wait, who said that? <laughs> Even if the rope was long enough, wouldn't it be pretty hard to tie them to the windows? Both windows were too high to reach. It would be like tying a rope from one cliff to another. If the windows were closer together, then they could toss the rope across. But they're not. No. Going to think it would work. Just need one more rope. Hmm? Another rope? There was only one rope. That's not true. Oh, then it unpossible. Stop saying that! <laughs> no, I'm sure there was another rope. Or at least something that could have been used as a rope. And oh, it was right there, tennis net cable. This is it. Boom! But what is Gonta suggesting exactly? I still don't. I, I don't understand. Cable from Ryoma's lab could serve as a rope. How long is it? <laughs> About fifty feet or so. But how do they use it? That's what I want to know. Okay, so first, culprit hang rope outside of one window. Then, culprit move to the other side. Hmm. <laughs> And tie cable to other window. Sure. Then, after tying to okay, I get it. 
culprit tie rope and cable together. But they couldn't have been in the pool. Ow. <laughs> make one rope that reached both windows. Right? Or did they set this up way beforehand? It's nothing. Ah, okay. They can't carry a body on just that. Eureka! I got it! Thomas Edison once said that genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. If he said that, I'm... But in my case, it's 100% inspiration! Okay. You get it. Just tell us already. <laughs> From one window to the other, like Tarzan. The body would reach the gym window, but it wouldn't land in the piranha tank. Stop making such dumbass comments and keep your smelly breath in your dirty mouth. Ooh. Tarzan. <laughs> 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 That is not feasible with just one rope. Maybe the rope wasn't the only equipment the culprit Now the inner tube makes sense. I mean, I knew they did this before, but I wasn't thinking about them using it get that, body in the that way. Tank. We wouldn't just throw it. The trick was a super crucial part of the culprit's plan. Yeah. The culprit must have carefully placed the body into the tank with their own hands. Yeah. Is there really a way to do that? Kokichi, are you hinting at something? <laughs> huh? Hints? What hint? Don't confuse me with your talk of hinting hints. <laughs> You're confusing me. You were definitely onto something. It's true that the culprit needed to place the body directly into the piranha tank. If the body were to fall, the culprit would not be able to retrieve it. They would have only had one shot at it. No second chances. So obviously, the culprit would have wanted to put the body in the tank carefully, meaning they would have wanted to get as close to the window as possible. The problem is, how did they get near it? All that we know right now is that there was a rope connected to the windows. Somehow, the culprit used that to move the body and were close to the window themselves. To make that work, they had to have used something else. But what would that be? What could they have done? All right, Shuichi. The stage is finally set. What? <laughs> hey, Listen, bud. Do a good job here, and I'll be able to put an end to this trial. Yeah. It all starts with you. You be the opening act, and I'll be the main event. Okay. And together, we're going to save everyone. Together? You got this. After all, you are my sidekick. I believe in you. So I'm going to leave the rest to you. Yeah. <sighs> okay. I can do this. I'll solve this mystery and show everyone the truth. This is the main event. Something was used with the rope to move the body between the windows. Think, come on. Think. It's not that hard. No. Okay. I almost don't remember. Um so what is it going to be? Is it going to be like... I can't even remember how you get the, the light to show up anymore. I want, like, tube. Um, how do you get the light to show up? A flash spot. I don't know what it's trying to say. <laughs> Well, I'm just going to try to get the first letter, because then I'll actually know. I think it's probably P. Nope. Uh, how about R? Okay, so it's... it's, it's R rope? <laughs> rope again? That's all it is. Rope. Rope. What? <laughs> I still don't know what it is. I've gotten this far and I'm just going with letters I haven't used yet. Ropeway. What does that mean? 
What? <laughs> yes, that's it. The culprit used something like a ropeway to move the body. Is that just something I don't know that's like super obvious? Are you sure about that? Wow, you got brain damage or something? Oof. You need some kind of vessel to use on a ropeway, and we don't have that. Um, we do though. <laughs> what? Minesweeper? Uh oh. I'm not good at Minesweeper. <laughs> In scenes where you have to deduce an image, Mind Mind will begin. In this mode, the objective is to dig up the answer. The beginning of the answer will be completed by covered, or completely covered by pieces. Use the left stick, move the cursor, and erase the pieces with the A button. These will be erased when two or more of the same color connect. Oh, so it's more like Tetris? That's a little bit better. The adjacent pieces will then change color in the following order. White, pink, yellow, white. Oh my god. If you do this right, you can remove all the pieces from an object. The trick is to predict how the adjacent pieces will change. When all the pieces on top of an object are gone, you can select the object as the answer. If you select the wrong object, your influence gauge will take damage. There's one piece left. If you can press the A button repeat- What? That will occur incur a time penalty, so don't just button mash. It might sound complicated, but trust me, you'll get used to it as you play. Uh, I don't want to mind in my mind. So, so I can just go like... Oh, okay. Um... This is a four? No, it's only gonna be one. Okay, I sort of get it, I guess. I... Um, that one's not good, so I need to change. Uh oh, we're stuck there now. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm just gonna work on other areas and then get back to that. Oh, I get it. Okay. So, if you make a stupid move, you're not toast, but you're not great. <laughs> Speaking of it, there's another one. Um, should have probably looked and memorized the order a bit better. Because I don't really know which color things are going, and I just... I'm, I'm connecting them based on <laughs> faulty memories. Oh, I should have definitely done yellow first in that case. Oops. Yeah, because now this whole thing is going to... Oh, God. Um, can I just say the song also is not doing it for me right now? <laughs> uh, well, at least this white one I can get rid of. I wish you could move the blocks. I thought that's what I was going to be doing. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> oh, shoot. Um, <laughs> well, that was helpful. And then I think the rest I just have to kill, so. Am I going to have enough to live? I don't think I'm going to have enough to live. No, I'm, I'm going to die. Cool. Wow, okay. Yeah, that's that's more... Uh, that's that's more than I thought, that's for sure. Holy crap, okay. We can't let it end here. I wish there was a way to get time back. <laughs> All right. Well, start here. Um, I finally kind of got into the swing of it at the end, of course, but... You just need to, like, keep making sure you don't leave any pieces on their own. Ah, uh, shoot. That didn't really save it, did it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've already screwed up there. Um, and there. Yay. That was good, but it wasn't what I needed. Um, 
that wasn't the right... Nah, okay. <laughs> that doesn't help much. Nice, haha. <laughs> okay, I actually managed to save that, which is sort of shocking. <laughs> um, nice, nice, uh, nice. Not saving that one, though. Um, okay. Boop. Cool. I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> Shoot. Shoot! God damn it! No! No! Okay, yes. Um, that's not good. <laughs> well, that didn't really help anything at all now, did it? Uh... <laughs> Damn it. Um, is that it? Uh, no. I still don't think I have enough. What does the influence gauge do in this case? Nothing, right? Oh. I'm really bad at this one, ain't I? No, I'm not going to be able to live. Wow, I suck. <laughs> I'm going to have to speed this up now. No! We can't let it I definitely want that, that mind mine one that was in there. That's for sure. Maybe I should start at the corners and work my way into the middle. That seems like it might help a little bit. Uh... So I might be pretty much screwed and have to leave that one. Uh, yep. Yep. Um, you. <laughs> Yay, saved it. Except for that one. Um, Cool. Uh, I don't really want to leave that one though. Well, you don't have to now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, that's still gonna leave one behind. Nice. I think that helped mostly. It helped more than it hurt. That's all I'm trying to do right now. These will still say... And then, nope, don't want to do that. Let's get this out of the way. Yep. Um, that'll just change those two to something else I can get rid of. Oh! <laughs> Talk about brain age, am I right? Okay. You. Oh, that's not gonna do any. That's not gonna do any good, is it? Actually, it might. No, it didn't. <laughs> that still didn't help. No. No. Okay. Uh, I think I'm still gonna fail. Uh, yay. Okay. I mean, you never know. I'm doing slightly better. I think. Yeah, the, the strat is definitely go from the edges and work your way over. It feels like I'm playing, um, what was that, that 2048? I think that's what it was called. Somebody's got to remember that. It, it's like a big, big brain workout every time you play that thing. Okay, um, that didn't save it. That did, yay. Didn't save that one, though. Um... Okay, that's still a lot of pieces I left, actually, now that I'm looking at it. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, it's gonna be close. No, I'm still gonna die, aren't I? No, I was one off! Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh, okay. <laughs> one last shot. Come on, you can do this, me. Watch me just be missing something huge. I don't think I am, though. Um, a gauge of your mental focus. Oh, so I should, oh, 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 oh. So I should always be holding RB when I'm, like, when I can. Cause like, why not? I already screwed up. I wanna go back. Can I go back? <laughs> <laughs> There's no going back. There's no going back season life. Yeah, I, I've definitely screwed up. I, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to try this again. Um. I don't want that. No, that one's more important. Here, to get this. To get this, to get this, okay. Um, how about... <laughs> it shows me all the ones I can do. That's somewhat helpful, I guess. Um, I think I want this. Shoot. Shoot! That's good. It's fine. Uh, this is the only way I can break near here anyway. I might as well just do them as I go. There's no reason not to. That didn't help me at all. Now that's just gonna kill me. Great. Might as well just get it over with now. Um, that's not going to save it, is it? Man, I love, I love mini games. <laughs> well, actually, I don't need to do that yet. There we go. I'm trying to jump the gun on this now. Um... Change, please. Change again. No. Okay. Well, couldn't save that. And now we are dead. Okay. Is this? We can't let it. We can't let it end like this. I'm gonna have to look at other playthroughs of this game just to see how they did on Mind Mine and make myself hopefully feel better. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> um, I don't think I want to play that card yet, just in case I can change something to make it better. Uh, how about this? Haha. -ha. Don't want to play that either. Is that gonna... No, because that'll, 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 that'll mess up too much. Um, here. And... Oh god, I've, I've really kind of just put myself in a bad situation. <laughs> yep, that's, that's not good. Um, which one would be better to pull at this point? Probably you. 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 Oh, oh, saved it! <laughs> I got it. Okay, um... What do I want next? I think... No! No! Okay, that was, that was pretty slick. I mean, I'm not gonna be able to get that one anyway. Um, now I've kind of just screwed myself on all of these, though. Great. Okay. This music actually kind of reminds me of Zant from Twilight Princess's theme. There's no way I'm gonna be able to get that. 
Yeah, I'm pretty much already dead, aren't I? This game is crazy. What the hell? Holy crap. Okay. I just need to not screw up for the rest of this whole thing. <laughs> it's easy. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, that's not going to help. That didn't really help either. Uh, you. And then... Oh god, I've screwed one of these pieces anyway. What's this gonna do? That didn't help at all. Oh my god, I am toast! What? Oh my god! <laughs> Is this... we can't let it... One last try. I gotta do one more. Wow, okay. Maybe if I go from left... I'll have better luck. Boy, I wish I could just select the answer. <laughs> I'm usually pretty sympathetic to Danganronpa's minigames, like... Cross Swords was a bit weird the first time I played it, but it grew on me, and a lot of minigames in this game do that, but oh, I don't think this one's gonna be one of those ones. Cause, ah, uh, my brain. I'm trying to think about riddles and mysteries, not Minesweeper. And I know it's not really Minesweeper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'll know what I mean. Come on. Uh, up. Uh, up. That turned white. Okay. That that's not good. That's better. That's the, that's not gonna save this one though. There we go. Got it. Um, you. That didn't help with this whole situation. Now I gotta save like a lot. <laughs> so. Here, um, that's not gonna help anything. I mean, it sort of did, not really. Oh, I do not want to isolate this. I've pretty much done it already, though. Um, <laughs> oh, man, that was actually not bad. Okay, we're halfway through. We got like half time. That's a thing, something, I guess. That's not going to save it. This didn't either, but it got closer. Uh, I don't know why I did that. That could have been very bad. Um, that, oh, oh, bad plays. That, that's a bad idea. Um, <laughs> um, That did not turn them the color I wanted. I don't know why I keep trying to save it after I've obviously already done it bad. I've got like 10 seconds, so I might as well just like go ham. I almost did better going ham than I did otherwise. Not really though, because I left way too much stuff. I just want to select inner tube. Well. That's going to be it for this episode, I guess, guys, because, oh, my brain. I'm just probably not thinking about it correctly, because I'm tired and I've been playing for two hours, but we're going to have to come back to this and try again. Holy crap. I am... <laughs> anyway, 
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like on the video, because that's hardly as trivial and hard to do as <laughs> mind mine. <laughs> and uh, if you uh, if you want to keep up with the series and see me eventually triumph over mind mine, because eventually I'll have to if I want to keep going, um, subscribe. So thanks a lot, guys. I'll, I'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.